Hello everyone and welcome to episode 23 of the Small Brain Podcast. I'm your host, as always, Joseph Murphy, and as ever, I'm joined by my other host. Hi guys, Jake. As you already know, you've seen me on the Instagram story recently. What's popping? Brand new whip. Just hopped in. How are you getting on, Joe? <laughs> I'm alright, mate. I'm doing well. I'm I'm surviving. I'm out on these streets. I'm living. You know what I mean? Like lockdown. You know, it just seems to get uh, funner and funner every day. You know what I mean? Like, I love it. You know, got got some well windbreakers today. Got some DVDs, ball scratchers. Not a bad day. You know what I mean? Not not a bad day at all. <laughs> How have you been, Jake? What have you been up to, mate? Well, I've been just shooting some photography here and there. Helping my nan with a new phone, socially distanced though, and um, you know we've we've just been living, mate. We've just been living, walking, going on like, cheeky walks. Um, went to Waffleopolis the other day, banger. Um, Never been. Oh, mate, I have to give that a visit. That's, that's a bit good. That um, cheeky Nutella with straws, you know. Oh, oh mate, that's, that's a sound of a nice Big old box, cream on there too, mate. It was naughty. Can't even lie. But yeah, I, I, to be fair, the, the freak shakes in there are fucking huge, Matt. They're like this big. Yeah. They're like genuinely no, exaggerating. Nah, like maybe this big. <laughs> nah, but like that. <laughs> nah, they're actually like this big, and they're just full of like sauce. Oh. Oh, yeah, mate. Pines. Oh, mate, baked beans in a freak <laughs> shake. Yeah. But to be fair, I've always thought, why are freak shakes called freak shakes? Because surely if a freak shake, oh, you get down to the bottom and there may be like a sun-dried tomato in there just, you know, to freak it up a bit. But now nah, you just get more cream. I don't, you know. I've never heard of a freak shake before. Oh. Is that just a Waffleopolis thing or is that like a thing? This is a thing. So basically freak shakes are like milkshakes just filled with cream and like sprinkles oh. and like sauce. and like, That sounds nice to be good. Yeah. Like extra sugar. Sun-dried tomatoes. But yeah. Now, a sun-dried tomato or maybe like a gherkin in there to really freak it up, I thought would be like a Halloween. Be good. But, you know. Like some, some like, uh, like screwdriver in there or something. Like, you know, really, really shake things up. You know what I mean? Some pencil. No pun intended, of course, because it is a milkshake at the end of the day. Mate, I like that little layup there. I respect that. But another layup that I'm going to lay myself up is we aren't just a video-based podcast. This is also an audio-based podcast. And, uh, you know, we're on many places, such as a Breaker. We hate you, but we still love you. Um, pocket Cast. Pocket? No, not Pocket Bean. <laughs> bean. Um, you know, I've got a bean in my pocket. Hi. Spotify, baby. iTunes? Uh, yeah, I think we are, I guess. I don't know. We're on, any, we're on anything and everything. Apple Podcasts. Anchor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you know, anyway, just search up Small Brain Podcast. We come up, baby. You know, we, you know how we do. We're on TikTok as well. Mate, our TikTok, blowing. Instagram, Small Brain Podcast, at, I mean, at Small Brain Podcast. You know, either way, <laughs> man. But there we are. Um, and, you know, you can always get us on YouTube, um, www.youtube slash Small Brain Podcast. Something like that? Yeah, yeah, why not, eh? You can put in Small Brain Podcast into YouTube. We're the one, we're the only. Yeah, uh, that's us, baby. We're we're in all our visuals. We've got vlogs coming out soon. Jake's the, the much anticipated five months in the making. Uh, Jake film, film, film vlog. Like everyone, hey, you should more DMs every day. I wake up to you know a mixture between death threats and like you know when's the next podcast coming out and also when's Jake's thing? Uh, when's Jake's vlog coming out? I don't. I generally don't mean to say podcast. But <laughs> when's jake's vlog coming out and i just have to tell him look mate i don't know he's a man of mystery he's an international man of mystery he does what he wants uh he's nice shirt uh yeah and then they go oh sorry mate don't care but yeah. you know soon soon enough it will happen soon enough mate soon enough soon come if you might say <laughs> speaking of soon enough what's your topic well this week mate we, it's something that's been in the news and in the uh, cultural internet space um, for a long time now, and it is YouTube boxing, right? I oh, don't know, okay. I know you're a fighting man. You like a bit of WWE here and now. I don't know if you're really interested in the UFC. I get the vibe not, but... I love it. 
Oh, you love it. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but you could go. But and I just wanted to see your views on YouTube boxing, see if you think it's any good for boxing, see if you've watched any of it. And um, whether you think YouTubers could do any other sport, maybe, you know, YouTube curling championship. Am I right? Get them involved. But I don't know, mate. I just wanted to hear, you know, your stance on these things and see how you're feeling. So, first of all, addressing the allegations that I don't enjoy UFC. Uh, I <laughs> I love a bit of UFC. I, I don't follow it uh, at all, really. But I'll watch a fight here and there. I know Conor McGregor got absolutely trolloped the other day. Mate. Second round knockout. Mate, first ever knockout he's had, which is oh, pretty man. crazy. I watched that one. Yeah. I, I was, Did you? I was sad. I watched it live. Right, also, I paid like quite a bit of money to watch it live because you know you have to pay for ESPN in American yeah. dollars. I was like, you know what? I'll pay for it. it. Cost me seventy dollars, right? I was like, Jesus Christ, that's like fifty quid to watch this whole event. Yeah. So I'd stay yeah. from like I think it was two to like four o'clock in the morning. Tried to watch the whole thing. It didn't work until the two headline fights because basically I think Dana White, the head of the UFC. I was scared of people like pirate in it. So he just oh. got rid of the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that works. That works. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to get people not to record it, just not to put it out. But I mean, yeah. Yeah. I thought I was, I was well annoyed, mate. Left a one-star review on TripAdvisor, would not go back to his condo again, you know what I mean? But, um, mm. Yeah, I was, I was terrified, mate. But, nah, yeah. That was terrible. <laughs> I was like, this is terrible. I'm actually crying. literally shitting myself at the fact that I paid seventy dollars and only saw two fights. Mate, mm. criminal, terrified. But yeah, what do you think about the whole YouTube boxing scene? Oh yeah, that was the thing. Uh, I think it's part of me is like I couldn't really care less, but at the same time, I think it is interesting. I yeah. find it very fascinating. It's like there aren't a whole lot of things in life like celebrities in nature like you don't see like uh i don't know robbie williams boxing sam smith you know what i mean and stuff like that but there is something about youtube and the mentality of youtube that is just like yeah obviously they're gonna punch each other in the face and then whoever stops first is like the loser you know what i mean like and i think that's very interesting yeah. uh i watched i think some uh, what was the one where like deji was on it he was only been on one of them any yeah, he was on the first KSI Logan Paul one, and he fought Jake. I think I watched that event. I think I watched that one, because it was a big deal. That was like, when it happened, that was like the biggest thing going that, that summer. I believe it was a summer. It was the summer. Uh, uh, yeah, and I watched that. He fought someone who I don't know, but uh, I was like, oh, it's cool. It's cool to see people do things that aren't what they're known for, I think, as yeah. well. Because like, KSI... You know, I see, like, you know, he, he he does sport, he does football, doesn't he? You know, he's a big football guy. He loves it. But you don't really see him box. And uh, I don't really know much about Logan Paul or uh, the other one, Jake. But they seem to be into a bit of fighting here and there. I think Jake does fighting, doesn't he, anyway? Yeah, well, he they both did, like, wrestling, I think, beforehand. I'm not too sure. I think Logan Paul definitely did the old elbow to the face wrestling type yeah. thing. And, um... But yeah, so he's uh, they just fought, and then Logan Paul lost to KSI, and now Jake Paul's like calling out Conor McGregor and stuff like that. Yeah, that is insane to me. Yeah, but the thing is, Logan Paul is now f fighting Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> is he really? Yeah, he's fighting him in like the next few months. It's Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather on like a. That's crazy. That's crazy. Match, which seems dumb to me, because you know Floyd Mayweather, he may be a little boy, but at the same time. Those hands fly at it. You know, you're not going to duck and dollar them, you know what I mean? He beat the Big Show. So, you know, he's going to be... Yeah, <laughs> he beat Big Show. So, he's like, Logan Paul stands no chance, if you ask me. Didn't he go on a ladder and then punch the Big Show in the face? I don't know if he went on a ladder. I know at some at one point he hit Big Show with a chair a few times until he was on one knee. And he put on some brass knuckles and just punched him in the face. So, admittedly... I don't think you'd have brass knuckles in a sanctioned boxing match, but <laughs> you know, the power beyond the fist, I think, was the uh, was the key thing. Yeah, because I think uh, it's a bit similar the YouTube boxing thing to boxers going into the WWE, isn't it? Well, I guess it's not. I guess it's not, but at the same time, it is because they're both like 
YouTubers and WWE wrestlers. They're both entertainers more than actual fighters. Now, I know WWE have the wrestling aspect that they train for beforehand, but, they're, you know, someone like um, The Big Show, like, he's not actually, like, a very... Is he a very good wrestler? I don't know much about WWE. So you'll have to... Well, if you were to, like, put him in a boxing match, I don't think he'd do very well. Yeah. Yeah. But he's good at... Wait, he's, he's a right away, does he? Does he still fight? Like, does he still wrestle? With nah, it? really. I think he did a few months ago. Or it might have been a little, little while ago. He just comes in, like, for one offset at the moment. Really. Royal Rumble. Yeah. Royal Rumble, baby, this weekend. Is it? Yeah. Oh, mate. I have to tune in. Uh, badness. Uh, uh, yeah, it's I remember that Royal Rumble where um, <laughs> Edge came in and he made his big return in the Royal Rumble. Oh, oh last year. Was that last year? I swear that was Yeah. Like, oh. That feels so long. Do you mean like after ages of him not being it? Yeah. Came back. Yeah, that was last year. Yeah, my balls were tingling back then, mate. I, I used to love Edge. He used to be, Tell me about it. He used to be my favourite. The spirit. He's a good lad. He's coming back. He... he had been wrestling for a bit and then he stopped wrestling like you know after he came back last year and I think he said oh mate I'm in this Raw Rumble as well so he's in this Raw Rumble as well so if you want them balls to tingle watch, <laughs> watch this Raw Rumble I'm going to give it a watch I mean one one thing that about the whole YouTube boxing thing that really interests me is the fact that YouTube could do other sports because like, if you think about it like what we were talking about the other day about Netflix overtaking normal TV YouTube's just mm-hmm. doing the same in it like I YouTube, think so, yeah. YouTube's fucking huge. And then if you, like, put YouTubers, maybe in, like, a... I don't know, like, maybe YouTubers become the zookeeper for a day, but make it into a sport where they have to sort of, like, hunt Punch the puffin or something. Elephant. I don't know. Yeah. They go out, like, have to hunt a puffin, eat it, and then, like, fight a bear midway through. That'd be such a sick sport. I'd watch that. I don't know what I'd watch think. that, yeah, 100%. Hunter. I don't know what you'd call it, but you call it something, and I, I respect that. Yes, uh, I uh, I have to agree on that one. I know what you're saying. I think I've always thought for ages that YouTube has just exceeded, you know, TV. I think you have more people who you can call celebrities that are just YouTubers as opposed to, you know, what you see on the TV because there's a lot of variety and things like that. And uh, I mean, there is been you you used to watch whatever that was where it was like what was that thing called where it is boxing on youtube but it's like well it's more like ufc sort of thing but it's in just a back garden oh remember devil's backyard or something yeah so yeah it was mental i used to love them yeah like actually kill each other it was pretty fun yeah there was a guy who was like you know uh, me and guard number one, like oh, I just want to preach to this guy, and then like it starts, and he's just knocking him like to the ground and like elbowing the back of his head and stuff. And it's like, whoa, Jesus, this guy, bloody hell, his sermons are a bit extreme. But yeah. like, it's weird because I don't think YouTube itself likes that sort of content at all, really. Mm-hmm. I know anything a little while ago, anything that was, and I can only go off wrestling, but boxing is still you know violent, you know. What I mean? Obviously, but anything that involved fighting, they were taken off because they were like, no, bad. But it's weird now that a lot of their, <laughs> like, you know, a thing that's getting the most buzz to do with YouTube is this boxing stuff, isn't it? Really, like that, like the whole KSI and, um, <laughs> it's gonna say, because it was, <laughs> hold on. What's his name? KSI Legit DBT or something like that, isn't it? Is that what his thing used to be? KSI. I was going to say KSI versus Legit DBT, but that's a different thing. KSI. Uh, uh, internet, mate. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm in the boxing ring. But that, uh, that first, um, that first, like, fight between him and Logan, like, that, that was talked about everywhere. That was, like, on the news, like, that was on the newspapers, that was on, like, the news channel, like, it was everywhere. Like, it was mental. And uh, it's crazy to think, like, YouTube, I don't know what their stance was on it. I mean, they're probably happy because a lot more people are, like, logging out to see KSI. be like, oh, I'm lifting a small child and stuff like that. I don't know what his training routine was. But uh, I think it is cool to see people do that sort of thing. And it is entertaining as well. Like, it is cool. the whole Conor McGregor and Jake Paul thing. Like, you know Conor McGregor, or at least you hope, you know, Conor McGregor's going to muller him. But, like, I don't yeah. know, mate. 
Conor, Conor McGregor like, the, the other day, bloody hell, it was worrying. He looked like I could have done a better job, and I don't even, you know, I wouldn't hurt a fly. No. I'm I, I don't like flies, but, you know, <laughs> fucking flies. But uh, I, I think Conor McGregor, I don't know what's happened to the guy. He seems to have just gone downhill. I think it started... Ever since he, you know, got rich, he just hasn't got that fire in his stomach anymore. It's, uh, it's worried. It's worrying, mate. He bought that like... I definitely think that is the case. I think before he was rich, he had a point to prove, didn't he? And like, he was like, no, I have to win these fights. You know, be saying. Then he got the money and stuff, and then it was just like, he's more of a showman than a fighter. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then he went down here. And that, that break that he took, you know, after he lost and everything like that, like, I think that's done him in a bit. Yeah, to be fair. He did go, I don't know if you saw it, but on Instagram there was like pictures of this new watch that he bought, which was a million dollars from Dubai. And it had a like a globe on the top of it, which you could spin. It was dumb. Badass. You know I mean? Dumb, though. That is pretty dumb. <laughs> Imagine you just walking, doing the weekly shop at Tesco's with your million dollar watch that spins a globe. And someone comes up to you, starts like doing self checkout, knocks that globe off, and is like, "I actually want my receipt." Well, what what are you gonna do then? You know what I mean? You can't use your club card to repay it, can you? You're just gonna have to be stuck there, like, "Damn, million pounds gone." You know that is such a, that much money on a watch. That's so like dumb, especially like you say, I've broken at least one watch in my life just from like, cause you you know you have it on your wrist. And, you know, us boys, we're, like, smacking our wrists against things. Like, that's what we do. Like, imagine you're out there, you're playing tennis with the homies. Like, you know, you're outside, Conor McGregor's playing tennis. And, like, you go, he swings back, smashes it on, like, a lamppost. He's like, oh, shit, did I keep the receipt? No, I didn't, because I left it at Tesco's. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> like, got it. You know, you're playing tennis in this tennis court, which has random lampposts just in the middle of it. You're like, what is this? He's there, like, you know... I just want to play a bit of tennis. You go and you smash it against this lamppost. Like, why is this here for starters? Secondly, second serve. And you're like, what's going on? I just want my watch back. And uh, you can't because you didn't keep the receipt. And, you know, it's... Hey, some people just, they need to learn not to wear watches when they're playing tennis. <laughs> like, it's basic, isn't it, really? I mean, bloody hell, you know, at least wear a Fitbit. You don't need a full-on million-dollar watch to play tennis in a lamppost court. You know what I mean? Dumb. Maybe that's all that. Maybe that should be the new YouTube sport, uh, tennis lamppost. Um, lamppost. Oh, like it's set, yeah, it's set up a court that has five or six lampposts in it. And then just see how they you know, dodge and weave and all that sort of thing. I think that'd be good. Yeah, mate. They just run into a lamppost, knocks themselves out. It's like, ah, you've done a Conor McGregor there. Fucking hell. He's like, nah, I've just got my watch for free. And he picks this up <laughs> from Conor McGregor's wrist. Like, million dollars, but where's the globe, though? But now, that would How be... big is the globe on your watch? How big is the globe? So say this Conor McGregor's watch is firstly that wide. So it's like, it takes up his whole wrist at this point. I don't yeah. have a wrist anymore. And then it's like that high off the thing. And nah. you spin it, and it's like, what the bloody hell? That's that, nah, mate, what's the point? You just brought a very extensive fidget spinner that attached to your wrist. Oh, mate, Ben 10, it's fidget. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine he just like, like, you know, he's just daydreaming and he's just thinking of Ben 10 because he loves it so much. And he's like, oh, he just smashes it because, like, you know, he wanted, he wanted to more or whatever they do. <laughs> smashes his hand in glass. It's like, ah, damn. It's one of Ben 10. That's his first thought, not that he broke his million pound watch. He's like, I just want to be Ben 10, man. He's just in the octagon fighting this guy, he's still wearing his watch. He wears it like a Fitbit. He's there like, he just hits him with a roundhouse kick. Gets dropped, he's there like, oh, I just want to turn into a Ben 10 creature. Smashes it, and just, he's just standing there like, nothing's happening. <laughs> His opponent's like, what are you doing? Like, get up and fight. He's there like, Ben 10, morph. And then he just, you know, he just doesn't turn. That's how he's hit it so hard, the watch is falling off his hand, and he's just hitting his hand at this point. Like, everyone's booing him. <laughs> That's how his career's going to end. Billion pound, it was from Dubai. He's just smacking his wrist in the middle of the octagon. They're like, we'll just give him the win. See you later, mate. Go back to sell yeah, TKO on his part, come on. <laughs> TKO on the watch's part. He's knocked his <laughs> out with the watch. He got so frustrated that his hand wasn't working. He just like headbutting his wrist. Like, get me out of here. Ben 10, morph, morph. <laughs> morph, morph. <laughs>
<laughs> Dolly's in the ring. That's what it is. going to happen, I'm telling you. R.I.P. R.I.P. Conor McGregor, you know. It all started with that million dollar globe spinner. You know what I mean? What's that? I like that. Yeah, so boxing. Yeah, YouTube boxing. KSL for the win, am I right? But um, uh, I, I think it'll be decent. I mean, Jake Paul is fighting this UFC guy called Ben Askren, if you've ever heard of him. So, yeah. And you, and Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather. So we've got a few fights that are coming up. Um, the Logan Paul Floyd Mayweather one's going to be interesting. I definitely think Floyd's going to win, but it'll be interesting because Logan Paul is double his size. So if he just clips him, yeah, surely he's going to win. Not me. Ah, you so, wouldn't you? It's it's a it's a matter of like, let's just say Beauty and the Beast, but I don't think that's right. Uh, Damn. What's what's it, Dave? Dave and Goliath, but like Goliath's only a little bit bigger than Dave. Yeah. I think it's David, but <laughs> David. Yeah. Dave and Goliath. <laughs> Dave and Steve. When he, yeah, he, I think he said Dave and Goliath, which is a mental image of your dad fighting Goliath. Like, come here. <laughs> come here. Come over here. <laughs> Grow smaller. Join me. <laughs> Goliath. <laughs> yeah, I think Mayweather's going to win just because he's more trained for like the boxing mentality. I think, and going back quickly to what you said about, you know, when, say, boxing people go into wrestling, oftentimes they struggle with it because it is a different sort of thing. Like, you, you can be, you can box a thousand matches. You can, like, you know, do 10 years of your life to boxing. But, like, when you go to wrestling, it's like a different sort of cardio and different sort of, like, you know, using muscles you don't use when you're boxing. Same with, like, Logan Paul opening up surprise eggs. No, Jake Paul opening up. Who's fighting Matty Weber? Logan, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Logan Paul. He opens up surprise eggs on his podcast and stuff like that, which is what I imagine he does. And uh, like, that's a lot different to, you know, fighting in a in an actual match. Like, he's had... How many fights has he had now? Two, three, four, four? I think it's two. Yeah. Yeah. He's lost... What's his record? He drew, he's, he drew one and lost one. And he's fighting Mayweather. I don't get that. <laughs> that seems fair. That seems fair. It's like, you know, you're 50 and 0 and you haven't won. But, you know, put them together, it should be fine. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> I mean, I think Mayweather's getting paid 5 million for it and Logan Paul's getting paid like 400,000. Which I. It really seems. 400,000 million? Jesus. Yeah, 400,000 pound. Uh, he's. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> He's almost, you know, he's always got enough to get Connor's fidget spinner, but no. <laughs> so it's all about, baby. Wait, if you if you've got that watch, holler at me. Get bring on the podcast, we'll uh, have that. Yeah, it? if anyone has genuinely, anyone who's watching this has that watch. This is no joke. If you have that watch, come on the podcast. We'll get you in a call. We'll talk to you. You'd be a special guest, but only if you have that watch. Don't call us, otherwise. Don't make one. I just want to see that watch. Yeah, we just want to see the original, but there we are. No, nah, yeah, I think we'll we'll have to keep an eye open for that uh, Logan Paul Floyd Mayweather match and that other Jake Paul one. I think that'd be fun. But um, yeah, we'll we'll cover them on the podcast when it's time. But I think I think that's nicely. I think that's nicely ended off that topic of you know Conor McGregor and his watches. So I like that. Yeah. Um, I like that. <laughs> I like that. And uh, moving on to that, what is your song of the week, Joe? I'm really intrigued this week. Is, you know, you've had some bangers over these last 53 weeks or so. I want to hear this one. Well, Jake, I've been listening to a lot of music this week. All right. I'll see you next week on the podcast. And uh, some some songs that I ain't listened to for a while because I, 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 I've double chopped. I've got some plans for uh, some tick stop, tick stop stuff going on. You know what I mean? Like music video esque things because, uh, you know, give me something to. <coughs> Sorry, I'm lighting a candle and it's going down my throat. <laughs> but um, what uh, what uh oh, hold on. Just <coughs> smoke's gone down my throat. Uh, yeah, not co- covoid. For anyone <laughs> says covoid, he's void of the cove. I like that. Right. Uh, it's a song called "Still Feel." I think it's called "Still Feel" by Half Alive which is a very good song if anyone's ever heard it. You've definitely seen the music video for it, so don't even, don't even start. So I used to play it a lot in college. It's the one where it's like, there's, I think like three people, I think sometimes five, but it's like three people, 
uh, and it's like a one shot sort of thing. Definitely isn't, but it's like filmed as one shot, and they're dancing, and uh, the room keeps changing colours. I don't know if you remember that one, but uh, it's quite a good song. I think I remember it. I yeah. Remember it. Is there like boxes in there or something? I, there's like different structure to. Nah, I don't know. Don't involve me. But it's a good song. It's uh, it's uh, one of the. It blew up a few years ago. I think it's like two years old or something like that. But uh, I quite like it. Quite a good song. Definitely check it out if you haven't already. But Jake, what is your song of the week? Because well, I'm excited to hear it. Well, well, <laughs> well, my song of the week. There's there's a couple that I was uh, looking through, and uh, but one that I have been playing a lot recently is a Loyal Karna song um, with the name Still. Uh, it's a bit of a banger. And, um, Wait, what's it called? <laughs> still. Oh, it is. It's a bit of a. Song. Oh, both our songs have still in in the title. Oh, madness, mate! I respect that. But uh, nah. yeah, but it's actually a banger, and um, I'd, I'd love to see him live this year, Loyal Carter. If Cowboy bleeps, then I'd love to see it live. Oh, you want to see him live now? Yeah, I, I wanted I wanted to see him live before, but not at sundown. That's this is the main point here. Who wants to see a late night act of Loyal Garner? I was thinking about this the other night, actually. I think it would be heavy romantic. Imagine, right? So you're there watching Loyal Garner live. Everyone's sitting on rugs, you know, joints out, sitting on rugs, a little nacho dip, and Loyal Garner's just playing with the stars above them. I think that would be quite cute. So you do want him to play late night now? I do, but like, yeah. Only in that scenario. Really, in that scenario, because I don't know how you'd mosh to Loyal Kana. It'd be like, um, uh, I'm having peanut butter peeking, and everyone's like, Wee! Yeah, you know, what I mean? there's CDs. You could no CD, you could do it to no CD. Do it to no CD, I guess. Oh, is that meant to be OCD? I've just realized, damn, I've just realized is that it? title is meant to sound like OCD, I guess. I don't know. I don't, I don't know why it would. Loyal Kana, if you want to defend that point, come on the podcast, but only if you have that watch. That, that cost a million pound. Yeah, that watch, holler. Because, you know, we want your name. Holler? Holler. At- yeah, that's that. Is that, uh, is that one of his newer ones, or is that an oldie goldie? Or what you know? It's from his most latest album called Not Wave, Not Waving But Drowning. And, um, oh, yeah. But I'm not sure whether he'll release any more albums in the near future, because he, he takes a long break in between albums. But now, that's a very good album. If you're, if you're in a chill vibe, Maybe doing some work. I know people are doing a lot of coursework at the moment. If you're in uni doing work at home, put on Loyal Kana, not waving but drowning. It's a classic album, and but still, it's my favourite. Can't lie, and it's a it's a nice. one to listen to. But yeah, you know, I, I do love that song. But Joe, I'm really intrigued, right, to hear your topic. And before I know what you're gonna do, so take it away. But I'm really intrigued to hear your topic. Well, before we get to my topic, uh, I just got to remind everyone, you know, if this is the first time, I don't know how it could be, but if this is the first time you've listened to this podcast and you watch it on YouTube, just give it a big old thumbs up. You know what I mean? We'd love to get a big thumbs up. Pick one of these bad boys. Not one of them. One of them. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. If you're listening on Spotify, Anchor, Podbean, Breaker, Pocket Cast, other ones. Follow us. You know, we got some consistent followers now, I've, I think, from what I've been looking at. Pretty cool. Uh, check us out on TikTok, Small Brain Podcast. Follow us on TikTok. Follow us on Instagram. That's also Small Brain Podcast. If you type in Small Brain Podcast into the internet, we're all over the place. So just check us out. You know, get involved. Uh, all that all that good stuff. But without further ado, oh, Jake's got a point. One more thing. Just remember, if we hit that 3,000 subscriber mark, we're selling these shorts. So, you know, I think we're something like 2,943 away. Something like that. Yep. But we're once, close, though. Once we're there, we're closing in on it. But once we're there, you know, those shorts are definitely going on sale. So just, you know. My, pla- my thinking for them shorts is it's going to be the colour of the logo, the shorts. And it's going to have like probably one, one on like you know one of the legs sort of thing like the actual small brain podcast. Maybe our faces on the ass cheeks. Oh, yeah. I was thinking the faces on like the balls part. Oh yeah, yeah. And then it has a special thing when you watch an edge wrestle, like we we sort of tingle a little bit. Yeah, I like that a little massage thing. I respect, <laughs> I respect that. I'd be watching twenty four seven. But there we are. 
Um, but without further ado, Joe, take it away with your topic, my man. Right, Jake. Now, hear me out, right? Uh, we're TikTok boys now. We, we've been on TikTok now for at least uh, a couple of weeks. I personally, I'll keep my opinions about it aside. But uh, one thing I've noticed on there is, you know, there's a lot of trends. Uh, there's a lot of, I found the word better for it, but trends is the way I'll, I'll say it. Like, you know, dances, little challenges, stuff like that. And I was thinking, and I was doing some research on uh, I have a couple of examples, maybe I'll use them a bit. But uh, throughout the years, what has been your favourite, least favourite challenges and trends? If you'd like some examples, I'll give you them. Go on, hit me with them. Mate, do you remember the classic 2006 uh, ALS Ice Bucket Challenge? Oh, mate, they were class. They were class. Definitely not 2006, but, mate, hand on heart, you can't tell me you didn't partake in an Ice Bucket Challenge. Mate, the Ice Bucket Challenge, oh, to be fair, I did one at school, but we got a team yeah. with the Ice Bucket Challenge. Got his ass. Yeah, we did it with my maths teacher, called Mr. Howe. And um, we did it, so basically we bribed them. We said, if we get this amount in like a test, this was like back in 27, 16, 2016, 2017. Uh, that makes me feel very old. But there we are. Um, but if we basically bribed him, said, if we get this much in the test, in assembly, we're going to ice bucket challenge your house. And he was like, listen, <laughs> I respect that Emily. We'll do it. So uh, we, we got the allotted amount and then we just came up to him in assembly and was like, ice bucket, and then just, you know, threw it over his skull. And I respect him that heavy that he took it well. Well, there we are. He just got off the phone with his wife. He's now in prison for like money laundering. He's like, oh, I've never been so sad. And you're like, hey, have that on you. And he's like, oh, you guys. Yeah. Don't do that. He beat us up after that. But, you know, it was, it was a good time. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Sadness. I love the ice. I like the uh, interactivity of the ice bucket challenge. I love the ice part of it. It's quite a quite a physical one. You have to put some water on your head. Gets everyone involved. Big fun. How about this one? What? I rated the ice bucket challenge heavily. Yeah. You had did an ice bucket challenge for your YouTube channel, didn't you? DDJ. Yeah, we we put some cold water on his head when we hit three hundred subscribers. So you know, when we hit a hundred subscribers, we'll probably bore. Uh, Sign on our head, so I won't say anything in particular because then we'll have to do it. But we'll think so. Treacle. Was that treacle? Treacle, full treacle over our heads. <laughs> Just be there for an hour as it slowly moves out. <laughs> How about I forgot about this one until I read it, and I think I've only I think I've accidentally been in one. I didn't want to be, but I was. Uh, do you remember uh, yeah, the real mannequin challenge? Oh mate, the mannequin. Were, what, what do you think of that one? <laughs> yes, that yeah, that was good. No, I, I, to be fair, I rated the mannequin challenge. I think it was a bit overdone, though. That was the one that I think was overdone because once you've seen it once, it's just people, you know, freezing all the time. And I, I really, you know, I got bored after a while, but you know, it was still fun to watch after the first time. I did rate them, but you know, another trend that I think was definitely one for the ages was, you know. The dab. I mean, that was hey, that was on the list. Wait, the dab. I can't. I can't remember where it started. I think Logan Paul started that. You know. Yeah. Which is probably. Weird. I think he actually did. To be fair. Yeah, he did it at, like the Olympics, didn't he? And he just kind of. Wait, he was at the Olympics. Yeah. Why? <laughs> <laughs> he was just spectating, but uh, I think he just did the dab, and then it went a bit viral. Um, <laughs> Fair enough. I don't know, mate. I, I like the trend that was uh, those um, people carrying the casket and dancing. I thought that was fun. Oh, yeah, that was a good one, yeah. That was, I like that one. be one of my favourites. I just love that. I, I love that video. It's so good. Um, it's quite funny. I like the music that goes with it as well. It always has good music with it. Always, mate. Always. I mean, I was talking to this about... Because um, my girlfriend, Poppy, who I'm living with at the moment, this is, this is my house. But we live at hers basically most of the time. Um, but she's got a younger sister who's really into TikTok. Mm. And we were talking to her about it and because she's too young to have had Vine. And we were comparing Vine and TikTok. Mate, Vine was so much better. I don't, oh, yeah. I loved a bit of Vine. Vine was so Much good. superior. Mate, I was watching old Vines the other day, like, an avocado. Thanks and stuff like that and bloody hell, mate. We had fun on the old one. Can't lie. 
Hey, I say bring Vaughn back. Hey, R.I.P. Bring it back, Vaughn. Like, uh, mate, grow some vines and just bring it back. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't get the problem. I, I do love vines. It's too good. It was, it was pretty funny. I mean, like, because you were constricted seven seconds, if I remember. Yeah. So like, it was a bit more sort of uh, fast paced. I mean, I like that. I like that a lot. I like the fast pacedness. Prefer it. But no, nah, you know, with TikTok, in it like fifteen seconds, but you can also do it at, at a minute or something like that. Yeah, I, I'm confused by it. I don't understand it. I can put, like, when I'm editing stuff to put on there, I can get it up to 59 seconds, I think, or maybe even a minute. But I know it's like, yeah, a minute's the deadline. But if you want to record, like, I do it daily, I was like, oh, we're doing a thing. I can only get it to go to 15 seconds. So I don't really understand how that works. Mate, I'm baffled. But I'll tell you something else about TikTok, which is mad, right? So um, I'll get I'll give her another shout out because she she does actually watch the podcast Poppy's younger sister called Bella so I'm up but um, anyway she's like nine right and she's got three thousand five hundred followers on TikTok yeah it's a lot <laughs> it's actually mad you know like she had her account's all about like fidget toys and stuff like that and it's mad she has like it's it's actually mental a uh, video hmm. get out. 2k views per video she does like two videos a day yeah it's mad it is mad it is mad how like things like that like people just sort of blow up and they're like yeah hell yeah i love this it's so weird i respect it heavily but at the same time it's bloody weird i saw a thing that was like the, the person that made the most money on youtube last year i don't know if you ever seen it. it's a kid called ryan's world you ever what seen that his toys yeah that's it yeah and like through YouTube and like merchandising and everything, because his face is in Tesco, it's like this boy gets about. He made like over a hundred million dollars yeah. in a year. But it, it, I, I say he made it. His parents, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, because he's seven, isn't he? He's like seven years old. He, yeah. But do you know? But can, YouTube have cancelled his ad revenue now. Have they? YouTube have cancelled all ad revenue off toy channels because they were yeah. spends out so much. It's mad. Hmm. Like, toy channels. I don't know. I was looking at Baby Shark, right, the other day on YouTube. I don't know why. It just kind of popped up. Do you know how many views that is on? It's on 7 billion views. No, it doesn't. Trust me. It has 7, it's billion, 7 billion views. That's mate, at least... Due to Disney. Mate, Jesus. everyone in the world, if, like, there's 7 billion people in this earth, and it's got 7 billion views. That is mad. Everyone's seen Baby Shark. Mate, Baby Shark. Shark, shark, shark. I love that. But that's is that the remix? Yeah, it's James Holly. Get involved. Oh, I like. Uh, but nah, um, yeah, that was a trend that I never got behind. Bloody baby shark. Didn't really get it. No, I didn't like that one. Didn't like that one. Didn't like pen, pineapple, pineapple pen, or whatever it was. Uh, Remember pen, that one? The pineapple pen, that was a classic. I like the guy singing it. He had a lot of charisma about him. But when other people were doing it, it's just like, come on, mate. Pen, pineapple, pineapple pen. Don't bother. You know what I mean? Bother, actually. You know, you could... Get a pineapple well, whilst on the subject of musically, uh, at least on the uh, list that I looked at, Gangnam Style. I remember a lot of people doing a Gangnam Style. Oh mate, what man Gangnam Style? That was a classic. Oh, he's bringing it back, baby. <laughs> back on, on the old small brain. I, I, I used to like that one. That was a good one. I, I rated that. It's one. a good song. I remember in one of the I used to do like Techian, which is like you know you did the lights and stuff for, for shows at your school, and. Uh, one of them, like I did the, uh, what do you call it, talent show, right? I did the talent show for a few years. And I remember one of the years, the people that won it just danced the Gangnam Style. But, like, it wasn't like, like, there was, like, re like I think I, it wasn't this, but I'm pretty sure one of the entrants was, like, someone who's doing, like, rope. Like, you know, like, where they got the big ropes and then they're doing, like, the ballet and stuff like that. They were doing, like, that, which was, like, really impressive. And then, like, these people just come out next going, like, whoop. Oh, oh, and it's like they won, and it's like I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. Mate, it's not a very complicated dance, but I guess you know. That poor person who was doing his ballet, he or she has trained for years to do this just to come on this talent show. They've been, they've got blood blisters on their hands from hanging onto the rope. They've been doing this for years, flying around the place, and then someone comes on and goes, "Whoopman Gangnam Style" and wins. It's like get a life, you know what I mean? Not on, is it? What she should have done is you know do this like really emotional ballet. And then at the end go, get them start. and then everyone would have like clapped and like, yeah, boy, get him. I like that, but you know, 
Nah, these guys came and just did... Because he released other songs, didn't he? He released a song called Gentleman and like other stuff like that. He released a song with Snoop Dogg. I remember that, yeah. Can't remember what it's called. But I know he did. It's called... That's called, like, Hungover or something like that, I think. Can't remember. Nah. I know it's about getting drunk and, like, looking at women. But he did a song with... Yeah, he did Gentleman. I like Gentleman. I think that's actually a good song. I thought that was a bit good, to be fair. Nah, yeah. To be fair... He, he, I wonder how much he's made over the years off, off Gangnam Style. A lot more than Ryan's world, I bet you. Nah, I don't know. Ryan's toys, mate. He's fucking minted. I don't know how he's managed it. Like, he, he, The worst thing is, well, it's not worse. Like, good for him. He's comfortable. His children will be comfortable. And their children yeah. will be comfortable all off like opening toys and going, uh, I like this Lego brick. You know what I mean? Like, Bruh. Like, Rah. Man likes this Lego brick, you get me? You're like, rah. It just takes, I just, I don't know how, like, it just takes no, I don't know, like, people can make very strategically made, like, you spent years on a project. Like, films don't even make as much money as that kid does. Like, all he's doing is going, like, this little matchbox, or what's in this? Oh, matches! Oh, my days! <laughs> like, like, and, like, five million children go, very good, very good. It's like Ryan's toy world opens up a bit of play doh and he's like, fuck it out. And then, like, the Joker's best kiss scene gets like 10 million or something. Uh, Mate, it's not hard, is it, realistically? It's not it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine he opens up a surprise egg and it's just like a small iPod playing Joker's best kiss scene. And he's like, oh, and that's the thumbnail. Oh, it's shit. Like, right. <laughs> does he even see that? It doesn't swear, I imagine, but I like that we've thought that he does. <laughs> <laughs> just opens up Play Doh. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Look at this fucking Play Doh. Parents are <laughs> Look at this shit. swearing, Ryan. He's like, oh, man does what he wants. You get me? He's like, he turns right. Hey, he's gonna grow up with Stone Island. Like, it's gonna be mental. I respect that still. But, um, <laughs> right. But now, nah, poor Ryan's toys. Talk, Let me have a quick look. See what he's like subscribers he's got on in YouTube. Because I'd be interested to have a look. Um, because I, I, I mean, he must be up there with one of the most highest subs- subscribed. Gotta be, isn't he? Realistically, Ryan's world. Oh, he's he's got he's got he's got twenty eight point two million subscribers, and his video his videos get about two million to to five million every like every video he uploads, and he uploads a video every day. Ah, well. <laughs> To be fair, and uh, 28 million is not to be sneezed at. That is a lot. That is a lot. But I just assumed he had more than that because, like, there's a lot of children on Earth. You know what I mean? There is a lot of children on Earth. But as I said, like, I, I don't know. I only started watching YouTube when I was like 12, 13. Yeah. So I think, but I, I guess the new generation probably watch YouTube videos like that. But I don't know. I, I wouldn't be interested in that. I don't think as a small boy. No, I'd be wanting to, like, you know, watch, I don't know, what I was watching back when I was Ryan's Toy World, which probably isn't isn't best for the podcast, but, <laughs> but you know. I was wrestling. I remember watching a lot of wrestling when I was with the ball. Mate. What well, a death match wrestling. And I was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Mate, and I looked at another kid, you're watching Ryan's World, like, cracking with a chair. I mean, Ryan's World wouldn't, I don't think, uh, would have been born then, which is sad, but, you know. I mean, some kids were watching Ryan's World. Some were looking at, you know, videos of Trish Stratus. I mean, I I was the Trish. <laughs> Men of culture. <laughs> Men of culture, and yeah, that's about it, really. But yeah, I, I was definitely more of a Trish Stratus kind of guy than Ryan's Toy World. But there we are. I respect yeah. Ryan's World. Uh, I respect the hustle. But his parents are just probably going to daylight robber and, and like kill him like in a drain pipe you know what i mean like i think they're gonna i think they're gonna give him tablets to make him young forever oh to be fair that sounds like a black what were you gonna say so now imagine like ryan's world goes missing in like 30 years time turns out he was never actually a human in the first place he was just like a little you know hamster who was put in a human's body like, that'd be mad yeah. that would be mad if that happened yeah his parents just make like fair money I respect that yeah, Ryan's world. Is he American or is he like English? Must be American. I think he's American, yeah. Yeah, must be American. I think so. Gotta be. 
I mean, everyone in America blows up on YouTube and TikTok. Where it's where where everyone blows up, mate. That's mate well, <laughs> I noticed our analytics audibly show that we get listened to the most in America. So if anyone who is in America listening to this, blow us up. No, wait, hang on, that's not a good way of wording it. Uh, <laughs> send the send the army round, mate. Oh, blow us up. You know what I mean. <laughs> Boris is saying it through us. Just come and blow us up at this point. You know, COVID's taken over. We're, we're done. Uh, uh, hey, I was, I was, I was, yeah, I was doing that the other day. I was just sort of thinking, uh, uh, trying to do a Boris Johnson impression. The only time I could get it right is when he said double chocolate. <laughs> that wasn't it there. But, like, you get it. Oh, my God. You've got to try it now. I did my Rick. I did my Rick impression in episode two. That, but I, I was last on the impression three. I did a good Joe Swanson. Joe Swanson? Yeah, you know, like, hey, Peter. Oh, but, oh, yeah, to be fair, now you've done bits of this. I mean, yeah. Yeah, the, the, oh. yeah, that was actually my Boris. Oh, it was Boris when he's, you know, he didn't have, like, 30 million acid tabs in it. Nah, but for real, next episode, we'll do more impressions. I, I rate that highly. But, um, next, next episode's going to be the impressions episode, I'm feeling. I'm feeling it, mate, I'm feeling it. All right, I like that a lot. Yeah, mate, if yeah. anyone listening right now wants us to do any impressions, leave it in the comments and we'll give it a go. I mean, they're not going to be good. Mate, mate. Oh, speak for yourself, mate. They aren't, but you're right. Ryan's Toy World. That's our next <laughs> Mate, mate when, do you think Ryan's Toy World, before we end, right? This last question before we end, third topic. Do you think Ryan's Toy World will ever fight uh, Conor McGregor in a fight? Mate, if Ryan Stoyle could afford the Ben 10 watch, and I don't know why he hasn't bought it yet. He could, he could, he could afford, like, 150 Ben 10 watches. Mate, he could afford an actual Ben 10 watch that you smash and you turn yeah. it into Ryan's toy world. Like, that would be such a... <laughs> Conor McGregor needs that for his next fight. He's just fighting Khabib. Khabib's like, I'm going to hit you with that over uppercut. And you're like, you know what? Nah, Ryan's toy world. He turns into him. He's like... A child. Plato! And then, like, <laughs> I can't hit this kid. He seems nice. I like him. And then, like... <laughs> I like him a lot. I want to watch him. Give him a million. He seems like a cool guy. And then Ryan's Toy World. Cause, well, it's Conor McGregor as Ryan's Toy World. He throws a bit of, like, Lego brick at Khabib's neck, guys, instantly. Right. That, what a way to go. Lego brick to the neck. I like that. Right. Well, guys, I think on that bombshell... <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna call this episode uh, there. Uh, I want to thank everyone for watching. Uh, I think we've realised the best trend going is Ryan Store. Um, I'm happy with that. Uh, yeah, we've we've had some fun. We've had some laughs on this podcast. Let's get serious, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, we appreciate everyone bumping us up. Uh, yeah, it's it's mad, you know. Twenty three, baby. <laughs> Twenty three episodes, baby. Uh, it, we'll see you in the next one. Is it 23? Huh? 22? Yeah, yeah. It's 23? Yeah. Oh, fair. I thought it was 22. I don't know why. Might be. don't know, but everyone keep an eye open February the 1st for this um, song competition that we're running. Uh, well, it's not really yeah. a competition, but it's just a voting thing that you can see which is your favourite and which is the best song of the year of 2020. And um, I want everyone in the comments also to wish Joe a happy birthday. Um, it is his birthday on Friday the 29th, and uh, it's gonna it's big big 21. You're only 21 months, mate, and uh, it's madness. Uh, you uh, to see you up. Oh, I can't believe it. Um, well, time to be alive. Yeah, everyone wish him happy birthday. And uh, but yeah, I thank you all for listening this week. We've had we've had a good show this week. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And I'm back again yeah. next week for the next episode of the Small Brain Podcast. But without further ado. Good morning, good day and good evening, and we'll catch you next time. Bye.